The final day of the European Congress on Tropical Medicine and International Health wrapped up with a flurry of high-energy sessions. Plenary debates on malaria elimination and achieving impact on a large scale. Plus improving patient safety in low- and middle-income countries. This was a quality improvement initiative that was done at a large scale. And I think what we brought on board was that evidence of interventions that work is actually not enough and that they need to be situated within real healthcare systems. And that means working at all levels of the health system, from the community, sub-district, district, and then to the national levels. So well, the policy framework is important, but equally important is the opportunity to bring together learning networks, people within their communities, people within the health facilities, to brainstorm, to generate you know, innovative ideas, to test and to review their own data to show whether their tests are actually leading to improvement or not. So really that was the crux of the, of the communication. And that it takes really the simple things to be able to make the difference in health outcomes that we are looking for. It's not always about additional resources, but really tapping the local innovative skills of people that brings about the change that we are looking for. Participants say ACME was a motivating week for them. Leprosy, you know, it's as a, a negligence diseases. It's coming up again in Brazil, uh, in the other parts of the world also. And we don't have so many specialists who study this. And here we can find uh, all the colleagues and the big scientists who can explain and to go against this uh, disease. I think it's very nice. For the organizers, ECMI was an overwhelming success, particularly for the issues raised. What I was very pleased about here at ECMI is we had um, many different disciplines uh, going from basic research to health systems to policy and uh, when we started I was a bit afraid that the two groups or the different groups would remain in their corners but in actual fact I heard from many or several people that they enjoyed attending uh, the other uh, or sessions in other disciplines and I think that's the strength of conferences like ECTME. For me the highlights of this conference there were uh, several of them and unfortunately of course I have, I have missed too many but there um, were some really important breakthroughs and uh, the, I think the most important among them was the development of an oral treatment for sleeping sickness something we have been looking for for a hundred years and it's really amazing that the NDI has gone through this very difficult uh, research in a, in a high quality manner and I'm very happy and pleased and proud that they have been presenting it here. ACME has offered researchers many unique opportunities and access to critical debates about the future of public health. The conference is kind of uh, one point in time every now and then where everyone can uh, review where we are and then share ideas, generate new ideas and then go into collaborative work and, and development research and so on and so forth. But it's important, those point in times, where we can gather and review the whole, the whole picture. It's uh, one of the platforms, but an important platform, uh, to gather people uh, from a rich diversity of professions, I would say. They are researchers, but also health professionals, policy makers, health advocates uh, from all of the countries from over the world. And I think in an era where we, we are set for the SDGs and global health at a global scale, this platform really has its relevance because it's a kind of a crossroads where people meet, exchange, learn from each other to do better in, in future. The spirited closing sessions included a presentation on building relationships with diverse partners and carrying the spirit of the conference forward. The debates over the last five days have been diverse and inspiring and the conference has ended on a high note. The next ECME will be held in September 2019 in Liverpool. This is Sarisha Govinder reporting for the Institute of Tropical Medicine from ECME 2017 Antwerp.